Good morning, my name is Chad Evans with Saratech Support and I'm one of the engineers here and I just today I'd like to talk about some tips and tricks and today we're going to be talking about the uh, NX installation. So I'd like to talk about the NX installation to the license manager, the download sites, and we'll just you know validate everything afterwards. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be going to my Siemens website and you can see here under the NX, I first logged in to the download site. So you can see where I've got highlighted under the download industry software, automationsiemens.com. And there you can select the NX tab and you can literally go down. So currently right now we're at NX 1899 series. So the 18 or 1907 is the latest and greatest, but today I'm just going to install 1899. So what I did is I actually downloaded the, the software ahead of time and I've got a little folder already open here. So you can see here I've installed, I've actually downloaded my NX 1899. I've unzipped it. So even when I unzip it, I like to currently use 7-zip where I can just extract the files, uh, especially with the way NX 12, I think it was 1202 had multiple zip files at once. So the seven zip always seems to work best for me. I've also downloaded the, the PLM license manager. So with NX 1899, we need to have the version 11 license manager software. And what I like to do is group everything together. So the first thing I want to do is I want to find out what my license file is. And if I don't have it yet, which I currently do, but if I don't, then I would use the get CID. So if I use the get CID, run that as administrator, I get to see what my current uh, values are for my composite ID. So you can see here on my composite ID, I'm currently looking at the ethernet connection. Don't always, don't look at the wireless adapter, always look at the ethernet adapt at the connection. <clears throat> then you can see my composite ID is the 575, and then it also tells me what my MAC address information is and what my current host name is on my machine. So you can see, here's all this good information. So I can close that up. Now when I'm all done, I can send that over to Siemens. And then Siemens is going to give me a license file. And what I mean by sending it over to Siemens is sending it over to Saratech because we're actually your first line of contact. And then if we have any issues, then we would, call, we would be calling Siemens on your behalf. So here's my license file. And then with my license file, I always want to make sure that I'm currently using the correct version. So this is my 1899 version. Here's my composite ID that I just saw a second ago. Here's my port number 28,000 and my host name. Because a lot of times you'll get the license file from Siemens and it will just say any host. So that's where you got to modify that. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's go ahead and install my license manager. So I'm going to run this administrator. And it usually takes a second to pop up. And this GUI, it actually pops up because I have Java already installed. If you do not get this GUI that pops up, that means you need to install Java, especially with a lot of new stalls, brand new machines. We'll say yes to continue. Welcome to the PLM license setup wizard. We're going to just take the default under the program file, Siemens PLM license server. And now I'm going to look at my license file. So it's currently, it's looking at a license file that I had before because I uninstalled my software. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pick that existing license file that I have under the NX 1899. This is the license file that Siemens just sent me. And that's what exactly what it will look like when you receive it. License UGSLMD.txt. We'll say open to that and we're going to say next. Now let's check in my host name. That looks good. Gives me abbreviation of what everything is. And we go ahead and do a quick install. So now it's starting the license server. And congratulations, you have successfully installed the PLM license manager. And hit complete. So that's the first section of my NX installation. So the second section, what I want to do is I've already unzipped my 1899 file. I'm going to go into that folder and I'm going to launch my application. So the executable. So 
The reason that I see the executable here is under my view, I've turned on the, the file name extensions and the hidden items because I like to see everything. We'll go back to home. I can right click this and say run as administrator. I am installing the Siemens NX. And you can see here, I am going to install NX. English is my language. Like I mentioned before, I would not be seeing this GUI unless Java is properly installed. Okay. The way NX installs is I'm going to select all my products here so you can see everything is allocated for installation. And if I come down here, it will be installed on the hard drive. So that's what I want. I want everything installed. I'm going to take the default settings. So the program file, Siemens NX 1899. And there's my port number that we talked about a second ago. 28,000 is my port number at my host number, at my host name. So STI server CE. Uh, Chad Evans, that's my initials. So that is my local. So I'm installing my, my license server on my same exact machine. So a lot of times some companies may have a license server set up on a server, So, but you'd be using the same exact software, but just on the server end. We're going to go ahead and install this. It's going to go out there and validate. And you can see the, the, the bar is actually moving pretty decent because, you know, NX... We literally recommend 16 gig of memory. Uh, I've, I have talked to many customers that call our support line. They're like, you know, my machine's running very slow. The performance is not good. I look at the machine and look at the laptop and I see they've only got the default four gig of memory, eight gig of memory. So we always recommend minimum 16 gig. Uh, I think I actually might have 32 on this machine. So it's actually moving pretty good. All right, so you can see now that the NX install has copied all the files, and you can see it took eh, roughly five, ten minutes, so it wasn't too far, too long. So I can say finish to this, and let's just exit out of this. And the first thing I want to do is to validate that my license server is working properly, is I'm going to hit the, all, the start button, the window start, all programs. I'm going to scroll down where it says Siemens NX. So here's my Siemens NX. And if I just open this up, there's my NX button. And I can come down to my licensing tool. And it's going to start at this GUI. And it's going to point to my environment. So you can see there, it's successfully connected to my server, my license server. I can pick my bundles. So you can see it remembered whatever my bundle was before. But if there was nothing there, this is normally what it will look like. And then I can scroll down, pick whatever license I want. So here's my... Mach 1 design floating license, which may be sitting on a server somewhere. I move that over and I apply it. But also, you can also see underneath my Mach 1, what are everything that's included? So you can see everything that's included with that Mach 1. Sheet metal, surface, freeform design, uh, you see executables, gateway, my solid modeling, my translator, drafting. Okay, because a lot of guys always ask me, what's included in each licensing? So that's what literally will tell me what it is. I can close that out. Also remember, if, if, I, if, I, if I did start NX and I got a licensing error message, that's because I may have not have selected a license it ahead of time. So now I can go back in, pick my NX icon, and it's going to start up my 1899. So you can see once I see a little picture pop up, that looks good. If I did get an, a license error, I would get an error at this point right around this exact same time. So there's NX, it's currently started. So you can see it even tells me it's NX at the top of the page. I can come in here and let's, you know, let's just maybe create a new file, create a new model file, there we go. We'll say okay to that. So now I've actually started a new file here. So you can see it, it's changed a little bit in 1899 series. But also I want to show you if I come down here and hit file help about NX. So this is where I can actually see here. I am currently at my 1899 build. Okay. So that just validates that my license server is working and my NX is working. All right. And then I can close everything down. And I want to thank you for stopping by and looking at our tips and tricks and looking at how we install NX and the license manager. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you.
Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.